Hey, what is going on, Pokemaniacs? Welcome back to the channel. And today I bring you the seven week battle against the Milwaukee Medichamps. And unfortunately, I put myself in a very rough position last battle because now I'm three wins and three losses. And that is very unfortunate because currently in the uh, table, I'm sitting in the uh, 11th spot. So for the last two battles, I really need to win if I want to have a chance of, you know, making it into the uh, playoffs, which are the uh, top 10. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into uh, team predictions. All right, then uh, here we are. So I'm not going to sugarcoat this and try to predict a lot because I think that's uh, one of the causes why um, I lose a lot. And it's because I try to predict my the entire team that my opponent is going to bring. And then I team build around that. And then when they bring something completely different, I'm screwed. So for now, I'm going to predict uh, for sure, for sure, that not only will the uh, Galvantula be on the team, but my opponent will lead with the Galvantula for sure. Additionally, he's going to be bringing the, um, this guy right here, the uh, Corviknight. Obviously, the uh, powerhouse Kyurem and the uh, Volcanian. At least that's what I would bring. Uh, because the Volcanian can just completely wall my Typlosion. Um, and, you know, just for the heck of it, I'm going to say that the last two spots are going to go to the uh, Alolan Persian. Because he can be a really good uh, pivot. And then the... Um, this guy right here if not the wheezing then the um the sloking but for now i'm gonna say this is it perhaps he might bring the uh duck trail as well to trap my uh my type potion but we'll see so for now i'm gonna go with the assumption that my opponent will lead with the galvantula and for the galvantula lead um, I have a dilemma because I came up with uh, three possible starts for me. So start number one would be to go for the um, lead with the hidden on top. Go for that fake out which will break the focus sash. And then for the next turn go for a rock slide which would guarantee the KO on the Galvantula. But the problem with that is that my opponent can go for the Rocky Helmet Corviknight and then I'm screwed. The third scenario is for me to lead with the uh, mouse hold and go for the population bomb. But then it's the same issue where like what if my opponent switches into the Rocky Helmet Corviknight and now my mouse hold is just dead. So, I think the best possible scenario for me is start with the uh, cleaver and let me explain why. So, for turn one with the cleaver, I want to start with a trailblaze, which will break the focus sash and it will allow me to go first on the next turn. To get the knockout on the Galvantula. The third option, and I think it's the, the best one, is to lead with the uh, Cleaver. And let me explain why. So if my opponent leads with the Galvantula, I can use the Trailblaze to increase my speed and kill the Galvantula next turn. And even if my opponent decides to go for the Corviknight, the Stone Axe should do a decent amount of, of damage to it and I can always go for the Sword Stance and I can also predict the switch into the Corviknight and go for a Defog with the uh, Cleaver to get rid of the uh, Sticky Web. Alrighty, so after careful consideration the only thing that I have, unfortunately, that can take care of the Corviknight it for sure, for sure, will be my Typlosion. So I will have to take care of my Typlosion right here. 
Next, I'm gonna bring obviously my powerhouse, the item folder. I'm gonna bring my Hitmon Lee, my Breloom, and my Hydreigon right here. So, yeah, I think that's gonna be my leap, guys. The cleaver, and then hopefully, my opponent won't bring the uh, Wizzing, although I find that hard to believe because Wizzing only. He's only weak to Psychic, and that means that I'm gonna have to preserve my Item Boulder a lot more. And well guys, if you guys are enjoying these battles, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel and leave a like down below. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the battle. Alrighty then guys, let's see, so my opponent did not bring the Galvantula, so I'm actually really happy for that. Uh, with that being said, I don't know what he's going to bring, um, that's quite unfortunate. Um, uh, let's see, I'm going to lead with my Armageddon here. Cause I think he's gonna lead with the uh, with that ghost type Pokemon all the way to the top. I don't know its name. See, this sucks. Cause I practice a lot for a lead with Golventula, and he didn't even bring it. But it is what it is. Alrighty, let's see what my opponent is gonna lead with the Minnesota. Oh, that's the um the uh. The Meowth, I mean, I know it's not really a Meowth, but it is what it is. Um, Alright, I'm going to go for the uh, Dark Pulse here. Ah, oh, he's going to withdraw the Minnesota. More than likely going to go into the Weezing, which is fine by me. Alright, out is the uh, Neutralizing Gas. This won't do much. Thank God that I brought the um, that berry that reduces the damage. So right here, I'm going to go for the flash cannon. Hopefully, that's going to do a lot of damage. I'm going to try not to speak a lot in this battle because I really want to focus. So if this battle is boring to you guys, I apologize. Oh, there's the, um, the berry. That's very interesting. What is he going to go for? Shadow Ball, interesting. That won't do much. Oh, but I do get the uh, special defense drop. That is quite unfortunate. Is this gonna be enough for the knockout? It, it, it's not. Oh. Hmm, interesting. All right, let's go for another uh, flash. Oh, he's gonna withdraw. All right, here comes the Minnesota. Hmm. <laughs> I have no clue what he might want to do here, so I'm gonna Dark Pulse. Oh, that's enough to get the knockout. That's pretty good on my part. Huh, interesting. So, my opponent sends the uh, Meganium. I don't know what, what he does.
Hmm. Interesting. All right, I'm just gonna go for a dark pulse, I guess. Oh, he's gonna Terra. What is he, what is he gonna Terra into? Terra Electric. Interesting. Oh, it gets a... Uh... Wow, I really need to be really careful right here. All right, let me go for the nasty plot. Synthesis, interesting. Very interesting indeed. All right, let's go for the dark pulls. Let's see how much this will do. Okay, that does a good amount. Oh, the body press, wow. Hmm. I think I'm gonna go for the Austin here. And then put it to sleep right away. <coughs> All right, thank God I do outspeed. I thought I was gonna be slower, but that actually helps out a lot. Alright, let's go for a sword stance. And I wonder how much this will do. Oh, he woke Bruh. up right away. Alright, let's go for another spore. Oh, he's gonna withdraw, okay. More, more than likely going into the, uh, oh, taxi driver, alright. Oh, safety goggles. Interesting. Quite interesting. Mm, I really don't want to go for explosion just yet. Mm, I wonder what he's going to do. Yeah, I get no choice but to go for... Hmm. Uh, All right, let's see how much a mock punch will do. Oh, he's gonna withdraw. Wow, that's crazy. What is he gonna go into? Oh, unfortunately, that won't do much. Hmm. All right, let's go for another spore here. All right, let's go for a bullet seed. Ah, uh, he's gonna go again for the Corviknight. Yeah, there it is. Fine by me, fine by me. Let's see how much this is gonna do. All right, that did a good amount of damage. All right, let's go for another Mac Punch right here. Hopefully this will, ah, oh, it does not get the knockout. Oh, but that's the Roost. Mm. 
Hmm, let me see. Should I predict another roost and go for the sword stance? Yeah, sure. Yep, there you go, roost. All right, let's smack punch. All right, that does a good amount. Oh, item defense. Wow, that is very bad. Um, More than likely, he's going to go for another a roost. And if not, then I'm okay with that. Yeah, there you go. I think it's just wasting the, the roost, honestly. Because I can just come back for the... Um, I can always come back with a Typlosion and finish it with an Eruption. Alright, let's go for a Mock Punch. Alright, there's the Roost. I don't know how many Roosts he's used so far. Ah, there's the Drill Pack. Alright, pretty good. I don't know if a flamethrower will do, but I don't want to find out. I really don't, so let's just go straight for the eruption, and I know I do outspeed. I wonder if he's got, who is he gonna bring that wants to take a, okay, there's the car wheel. Alrighty, so I just wasted an eruption, unfortunately. I really have to preserve my Typlosion here, because I think the rest of my opponent's Pokemon are weak to fire, with the exception of the Kyurem. And I wonder if that Kyurem is um, Choice Scarf. Oh, there's the Kyurem. Wow, I barely survived. Ah, there's the, um, there's that guy. Should have seen that coming. And unfortunately, he is faster than me. Um, I hope not. Let's go for the knockoff. Ah, rapid spin. Dang it.
Hmm. All right, let's go for the Tyrion here. Alright, so I'm gonna go for the X Scissor here. Oh, Leech Seed, wow. Hopefully, this is gonna get the knockout. There you go, so I do get the knockout. Pretty good. Alrighty, so... Oh, interesting. Um... Alright, I guess I have no choice but to go for a um, Trailblaze, I guess. Alright, that does not do a lot, but I do get the speed boost. Oh, and he's gonna go for the curse. Uh oh. I forget about that. I'm gonna go for the stone axe because I want to set up the um, the stealth rock. Oh boy, he's really boosting right here. Alright, right here I'm gonna go for an X Scissor. Alright, okay, so he's gonna go for the Synthesis. I'm okay with that. Alright, I'm fine with this because my eruption from the Typlosion should get the knockout. and the X Scissor still doing a good amount of damage and that is not enough to get the knockout not even with the Leech Seed interesting alright let's X Scissor here oh Synthesis that makes sense Oh, 
Alrighty, and if my explosion cannot finish this with the eruption, I might as well just concede the game. Alright, let's see if this will be enough, which I think so. It's not. That's fine though, um, because this should be enough now. Okay, let's try to go for a... Alright, I'm gonna go for the Shadow Ball. I'm not even gonna waste my time with the uh, Focus Blast. Oh, Dragon Dance. Wow, I was not expecting that. Alright, so I do outspeed. So let's go for the mighty cleave. Alrighty, then. Now, this beast right here. Going to sword stance right here. All right, let's do the mighty cleave, see how much this will do. All right, that does a good amount. Let's substitute here. Alright, let's go for my third and final sword stance. Alright, 
Let's see how much this will do now. Ah, oh, it doesn't do much. Alrighty then. Yeah, I think I'm gonna lose this battle, guys. Yep, GG. Yep, alright guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a really good rest of your day. Take care. See ya!